Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I'm Brandon Green. Today I'm going to flip through another sketchbook. So this sketchbook is uh, from 2013. I titled it Thanks Sketching because uh, uh, my good buddy Will Terrell and I decided to fill a sketchbook in a week. And that week was the week of Thanksgiving, so Thanks Sketching. This took me two weeks and the artwork in it was done in seven days. Uh, I had to kind of take a week off uh, I uh, really underestimated the amount of time that Thanksgiving was going to take up uh, with family coming in town and, and, you know, all that business. So uh, one week worth of art, two weeks uh, in time, but uh, that's, that's the premise of this sketchbook. It's one of these small, thin, uh, flimsy uh, moleskin sketchbooks. Uh, they're really nice for just quick sketches. Uh, you know, the paper in it is really, really uh, cheap and um, really thin. So I personally probably wouldn't sketch, you know, my everyday stuff in here. Uh, but they are nice for just um, uh, kind of a, a quick sketchbook. Okay, so let's get started and uh, start with page one. Sunday, November 24th, 2013. Uh, I did the whole book in um, pen and ink. No pencil sketches first, you know, no preliminary work. It's done with a high-tech C pen. I think all of them are. Every now and then I, I have a little bit of grayscale in there just because I had it on hand. And, um, you know, I know at one point in here there's like a pencil, like some shading in it with a pencil. I think Will was just using a pencil and uh, said, here, try this. So I tried it. Um, other than that, it's it's uh, just straight ink. I'm still pretty. I'm on schedule at this point, so I'm kind of tight. I'm I'm kind of uh, you know I'm taking time to to do you know shading for better or worse. I was doing it. So this is still Sunday. This is all you know all in one night. I like Mr. Thumb there. <laughs> That's the same guy, by the way. Just some different angles. That's my dog and my kitty. So here we are on Monday. Still kind of, still kind of doing the same thing. You know, we're on schedule. No worries. Take your time. This girl ended up looking like she had a big beard, but it was actually a really, really large scarf. I mean, I exaggerated it, but yeah. <laughs> you know, some of the drawings aren't great. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I would say a lot of them aren't great. But um, honestly, by the end of the book, you'll see a definite improvement just because your hand gets used to, to the movement. Your hand gets used to it. Um, you also get attuned to what marks you need to make first, and you you know you get a little more comfortable with the medium. You know, here's one one case where I took some colored pencil and just separated that guy out. I only did that because I like that guy so much, so I just wanted to bring some attention to him. And then of course some random uh, shark and alligator doodles. <laughs> uh, so here's I think the gap. So that's the uh, 26th. Then we jump to the 30th. Um, so at this point I'm behind, I know I'm behind. So here I started, uh, getting way looser, uh, and getting loose like this, you'll see it gets a little tighter, but it gets better. Like it, uh, the looseness leads to something better rather than, um, just being sloppy the whole way through. You know, I'm still trying to, uh, caricature. Still trying to kind of uh, make cartoons out of it. I've spent a lot of time drawing just um, realistic, proportioned people, and so you know it, it's it's more interesting to me now to to stretch things and push them and, and just make things to caricature them. Um, so you know, even when I'm drawing loose now, I, I still try to find that unique shape that's in there. So 
So this is a really good practice, by the way, to just fill the sketchbook really fast. Um, you know, I should really be filling more sketchbooks as it is, but doing it really fast like this, uh, if you go out and do this, I guarantee it, you'll, you'll learn something and you'll improve by the end of it. And then if you keep it up, then you'll just get that much better. I actually have a few more of these uh, laying around that either have like one page drawn in the front or no pages. Uh, they're completely blank. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to do this again, maybe not with people sketching, but just fill a sketchbook with, um, with something. I, I think I am going to pick some kind of subject matter though. I've talked on this channel before about, um, how I'd like to get better at drawing like dragons. So maybe I'll do one on dragons. Um, there's a few other things that I wouldn't mind uh, touching up, uh, you know, working on, improving in my work. So I might just go through and pick a couple and, and do books on them and just fill an entire book with, with those things. By the way, this is still November 30th. I don't know if you remember when I said this was November 30th. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's this page, right? Okay. So there's... This is all in one night. This is sitting there sketching for one night, and I'm still going. There. That's the last page of November 30th. So, uh, you know, don't... <laughs> don't go out sketching and think, oh, man, I can't... I can't fill a page. You should be able to fill, you know, a couple pages at least, if not five or ten. Every drawing doesn't have to be a complete rendered illustration. And that's a that's a trap I get caught in a lot too. I mean that's that really slows me up a lot of times too often. Is uh, I try to make each drawing, you know, decent and, and finished. But uh you know, there's there's a lot of times where I should just, you know, do quick quick drawings like this. I really like this. This girl down here, just, I don't know, she's frumpy. So you see, things are still loose. I'm, I'm still doing these very, very fast, but they're starting to be able to tighten up and actually improve rather than tight and kind of just overworking uh, the drawings. just because my hand got used to the movement and the speed and I got used to the pen I was comfortable with it you get rid of this sense of uh, this this sense of uh, fear of the pen being permanent um, you know when you first start drawing straight to pen you're like oh man each mark has to be perfect because I can't erase it uh, that's a that's a silly trap that people get in including myself you just it happens and uh, you draw enough you go through page after page after page pretty soon you're just you're just cranking them out you're not worried about every line you're not worried about you know every little detail you're just trying to get the mood or the gesture or the shape that you're wanting and and then you move on I like this guy's head <laughs> I really like this guy, his little vest. He's got such, he's got good movement. And then here's one where, um, so I stopped, I stopped unfortunately dating my pages for a couple days, but um, this is one where I drew this guy and I don't know why I got so tight. Like, I don't know why I got so detailed. I think the size of it uh, really did me in. So I redrew them over here really quick. And uh, I personally like this better. I know everybody doesn't go for real graphic stuff. But, um, you know, I, I would much rather have that drawing than this drawing. This is just overworked and complicated. And then this guy, I drew him a few different times. I actually... I like all of them kind of in their own way. 
Uh, I'd redo them on the next page too. Uh, this was mainly I just drew them so I could get all of him in. And we're coming up on the end here. This guy had his little oxygen tank on. So he's he just kind of an interesting subject for the night. And here's a completely different day, and he's back! <laughs> uh, you really do start seeing the same people over and over and over when you go to the same place. And they're probably thinking the same thing. Like, that guy is always sitting over there. So that's it. Uh, I hardly ever draw on the very last page. I just leave it as a, uh, I don't know, just a, a dead page. Um, but that's my thanks sketching book. So go out and get your sketchbook. Go draw something. You know, finish the sketchbook in a week. Do it in a month. Whatever, whatever time span you're doing a sketchbook in right now, like really, really push yourself. Like, like a, an extreme push. If you usually finish one in a year, try doing one in a month. If you usually finish one in a month, try to finish one in a week. Um, if you want to try a week, even though you normally do a year, just do it. Um, you know, just, just go in and, and scribble on every page if you need to. I mean, just, just don't worry about getting likenesses or, uh, appeal. Just finish it. Okay. Just go get a sketchbook and finish it. Anyways, that's, uh, that's my sketchbook. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Please subscribe to my channel, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.